Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is the second video that I'm covering as part of the playlist Power of Tallies Reporting. In the last video, we understood a couple of techniques that we can use for balance sheet reporting. In this video, we will learn further more techniques that we can use for profit and loss account. So today's session, we will see how we can leverage the report of profit and loss account to view and make better decision for all of you. So let us go to tally and explore the techniques related to profit and loss account. In the last video, we saw a few techniques of balance sheet. Now let us today explore profit and loss account. The normal tendency for you to reach profit and loss account is you will press escape, come down here and then go to profit and loss account. You really don't have to do that since you are already in balance sheet. All you have to do is take your cursor to profit and loss account and press enter. Once you press enter, you will be taken to profit and loss account. Again, this report is going to be in condensed format. So for you to see the detail, you have to press alt F5. So alt F5 is going to explode all the groups at the first level of grouping or subgrouping. Let us now learn another very handy keyboard shortcut which will help you to use this keyboard shortcut in various reports to explode a particular group. Like for example, when you press Alt F5, Tally is going to explode all the groups to the first level. Let us say that you don't want to explode all the groups. You want to explode only a particular group. So how do we do that? So first let us convert this into a condensed mode. So again press Alt F5 and now you will see that all the groups are condensed. Now if you want to explode a particular group, let us say you want to see the breakup of indirect expenses group. So you don't have to press Alt F5. All you have to do is press Shift enter. So when you press shift enter, the selected group will get exploded. Again, remember it will explode only at the first level. So here we are seeing that under indirect expenses group, we have created all these ledges because these are represented in italic. Now if you want to collapse this group, again use shift enter. So shift enter is a toggle button. So this technique you can use in any report that you are viewing in tally to explode a particular selected group. So let us explode all the group. So you're going to press Alt F5 again. And now let us say as owner of an organization, you are viewing the current year's profit and loss account. So the company says there is a profit of 58,25,278. We had seen the technique of comparing previous year balance sheet and current year balance sheet. So I will not repeat whatever we have learnt. So we will try and explore other techniques. So the next use case, let us consider that let's say you want to now automatically break this one year profit and loss account into quarterly profit and loss account so that you know you can basically start comparing your yearly profit and loss account or your yearly operations quarter on quarter how did you perform how do we achieve this again remember your secret number one on the right side button bar so if you recall in our previous video we had used new column and we added our own configuration as to what you want to see in the new column. Now there is another very handy button which is auto column. So we will understand the difference between new column and auto column. So let's click on auto column. When you click on auto column, the column details here is a predefined column of periodicity. So here the user cannot go and configure their parameters, but you have to select from the provided periodicity here. We want to see our profit and loss account on a quarterly basis. So you come down here, select quarterly and press enter. In a jiffy, you will now observe that your yearly profit and loss account is broken down into four quarters, quarter one, quarter two, quarter three and quarter four. For some of you, based on your monitor's resolution, the fourth column or the fourth quarter column may not be visible, but Tally will put one arrow here, which is an indication that there is more column to the right hand side. So you can use your right arrow key to go and access that information. So in my case, we are able to view all the four quarters. Now with this information, I'm sure you can do a lot of analysis. Let me quickly give a couple of examples. Like for example, if you see here, the first quarter turnover is 
20 lakhs 11,000 and the companies made a profit of 4 lakh 18,000. Quarter 2 turnover is increased further more than double. Now you have another nice option where if you want to see these variations in percentage you can do so. So how do we see this information with percentage? Now you are going to use your secret number 2 which is F12 configure. So click on F12 configure or you can just press F12 and you will see here again this configuration is dynamic related to the information that we are seeing on the main screen first option it says show percentages just press y and press enter and you can press ctrl a now you will observe that quarter on quarter if you consider the first quarter sale as 100 percent what is your cost of sale the cost of sale is 58.61 percent then your indirect expenses is 20.57 percent and you have made a profit of 20.82 percent when you come to quarter two again if you see across the quarter you have done more than double turnover almost two and a half time turnover if you consider this as 100 percent of your turnover you will now compare here in second quarter your cost of sale is reduced so your gp is increased from 41 percent to 45 percent and if you observe here your indirect expenses constitutes only 8.17 percent as against 20.57 percent and you will be able to see all the comparative analysis also quarter on quarter so your profit is increased to 36.87 percent so this way you can start comparing and you will see that profit quarter on quarter it is increasing now when you come to your fourth quarter from 40 percent to your fourth quarter profit is reduced to 13.26 whereas if you notice here compared to quarter one 20 lakh turnover quarter four it is reduced from quarter three it is reduced to 33 but again if you see here it is almost 66 percent more than your first quarter turnover whereas you will observe that in the first quarter your net profit was 20.82 and this is reduced so this is where you can now start comparing and see what is that extra or additional expenses that has brought down your profitability so once you have analyzed this information now you want to convert this into a yearly profit and loss account so how do we do that you don't have to go and keep deleting if you delete the column see we have this option called delete column but if you delete the column the column is only quarterly information you will not get the yearly profit and loss account so how do we do that again use your right hand side button bar click on auto column now if you observe here literally if you select daily you will see the entire year's daily profit and loss account a 365 day or 366 days profit and loss account you can see so four week a month daily fortnightly you can see half yearly monthly stock valuation method again we will we will understand this from the inventory reporting weekly you can see and now you have this last option called yearly so click on yearly and when you press enter automatically the quarterly gets converted into your yearly profit and loss account you will see here april to march let us quickly walk through the buttons on the right hand side so basis of value we have seen there more or less you are going to get the same thing you can use that scale factor which we saw in our previous video stock valuation method again we will cover this later change view this is t format of your profit and loss account like we saw the vertical balance sheet if you want to see the vertical profit and loss account again you have this button called change view click on change view enter and you will now see your profit and loss account in vertical format where it says what is your trading account the gp the gp is brought forward and your income statement which is covering all your indirect expenses to convert this back into t format click on change view and select horizontal it will come back to the default view in the upcoming videos we will learn the benefit of save view and how it functions applying filter we will see as we keep moving forward if you see now we understood the new column and auto column now what is the difference between new column and auto column in the new column when you're selecting new column this is basically a user defined column information that is as a user you can specify what information you want based on the options that are available but whereas when you go to auto column you will see that it's a predefined periodicity auto column that is made available by tally so that is the difference between new column and auto column 
So diligently based on the information that you are going to view, you can decide on whether you need a user defined new column or system defined auto column. In the next video, we will do certain very important comparative analysis, which will be very useful and very insightful for all of you to consume the information and make informed decision. I hope this video would have given you a fair idea of how you can use your data with various permutation and combination for you to analyze the report so that you can make an informed decision. So as we keep moving on, we will learn many more interesting techniques that will help you to completely leverage the reporting power of Tally. So thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.